Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to This World Mine. We've just been raided. We're expecting winter to close in any second. Fighting is going on, which is already limiting where we can go. Winter will be closing in. Well, winter is closing in. Winter will be, you know, literally around the bend. Um, and we've also been raided, and we're using up the very last of our bullets. So we're going to actually have some issues here. We used seven bullets! I said that the acceptable amount was five. We just used seven. Yeah, we are going to be in real trouble. I think we need to go somewhere dangerous. Just use the last of our ammunition before our people waste it. We have, we have real issues there. I'm hoping those vegetables are cleared today. They might not be. Very hungry. Okay, well. Go do that. Um, Sether, Anton. Anton, go and make me things. Sether, you can sleep. Yeah. Now, I want to make uh, a couple of filters so we can just get the last water we can before uh, it starts to freeze up. So... I know I should have been doing this every day, and I got a little bit lax. I really shouldn't have done. Um, let's reset the trap. Reset it with... Yeah, use the fertilizer. Right, we'll go collect the next food. Now, the idea is that we're going to be able to be almost self-sufficient in food soon. Actually, we are pretty much almost self-sufficient at the moment. Water is going to make it a problem, but hopefully we'll be fine. Because we're into the double digits on raw food. Uh, yep. Yeah. Get me some water. Is anyone very hungry? Zatter. Just Zatter, but other people will be moving into that area soon. So I think what we do is we actually make the uh, uh, double meal now. Yeah. Double meal. Right. Let's check what our supplies are like. We have 18 water. Yeah, that is getting dangerously low considering we're going into sub-zero temperatures. We need to have that water collection device up and running all times. So we're about to use 10 for more vegetables. We need that water collection device going non-stop. 70 wood is a pretty good position though in terms of wood. Or should we make a new hatchet? Yes, make me a hatchet. Make it worthy of more door while you're there. Um, you need to... Grab one of those. And hatchet. Hmm. Five weapon components, but we have five left afterwards, so. That's fine. It'll also give us another weapon. Any more weapons are uh, much appreciated. I think Anton will eat the last food. Okay, so what can we make? We can make. An improved her workshop with 10 more components. It would take a lot of wood, though. 30 wood. Ooh. And also, it will use 4 plus 4, so 8 electrical components. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll answer the door in a second. Yeah, it's the trader, so I was right to do all that trading stuff. Uh, or at least grab the trading uh, important things. Okay, Anton, I actually want you to eat the last of the food, because I know you're about to go into very hungry mode, so, you know, it's not really a waste. Have a look what I brought. I will. I will have a look what you brought. And guess what? If you've got water... Uh, yep, 12 water. And the sugar. I'll take the sugar as well. And I might even take the, the wood. I know we've been saying, you know, wood's... You know, you'd be crazy to get all the wood, but... Exactly what I need and give you a look. Won't do try harder. Okay. Has the price of this gone up? No, it's almost nothing. Okay, we must be very close then. Uh, a herbal medicine as well. Just too damn impressive. That is right. I am just too damn impressive. Three bullets. There we go. Very generous. Okay. Let's... Now, he has fuel and wood at the same price. So I'm going to go wood. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. It's a great deal. But I will want more of him. Now, the question is, what do we give him for more? Um, we do actually have a spare pistol. It's not spare so much, actually, because we've got four people and we've got four firearms. But we're running out of, you know, things that fire bullets, uh, bullets to fire, sorry, anyway, so I don't really mind as much. We know we're also going to get more firearms as soon as we go for a place with bandits. I have said this before, I'll say it again, so there we go, that doesn't really matter. We'll grab wood for that. Okay, what can we get? You will give us 11 wood for a pistol. That That's fine by me. I mean, you know, may sound a bit odd, but in terms of the game, that is a great deal. And I think we might end up trading, you know, food or whatever components. Deal. It's a shame he doesn't have electrical components or whatever, but that's very rare. Um, nothing special, not bad. Nothing special, not bad. 
Very common, not interesting. <sighs> Fine. Be that way. Okay, what can we get from him? If we trade him another bandage. Yeah, there we go. It's a lot of components. I think what I'll do instead is I'll take the very last two wood off him. Oh, wood is actually more expensive than components. Okay. Just. But I'll take it. Deal. Um, I might actually make some moonshine. We have 30 water. Yeah, we can make four moonshine. It takes half our water supply. And a lot of our fuel. But at the end of the day... Probably worth it to have something to trade. Not necessarily the right idea. Okay, go grab the vegetables. Was someone knocking? Yes, they were, dear. And I think I'll make two fertilizer out of the vegetables. Maybe even four, actually. That'll leave us with four, which means eight meals. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Basically, you know, that's a lot of fertilizer. It should be fine for now. It'll supply us through to the next cycle of vegetables, which is, you know, one you know, cycle of vegetables turning another cycle of vegetables in, but it'll also supply the rat traps. It seems like a waste, but it's actually a good deal. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I don't know why doctors would know about the economics of uh, vegetable farming, but there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ten water. We're down to four after this. Need to be done. Not so convinced with the moonshine, though. Tired. Go sleep. You're still sad and hungry? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, go make a meal. Sevther, would you go up here, please? And I'm tempted to cancel the moonshine. Save the water. Let's cancel the moonshine. Yeah, let's keep that 24 water. It means we'll lose out on a few deals in future. But I, I think it's, you know, a solid option. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye, man. I know you'll try and visit. You're insistent like that. Now, um, I think we maybe will make the just two moonshine, right? Just two. We won't go overboard. Not four. I can't afford that expense in water. Um, Zather, you can... I don't know. Pav definitely needs to eat, though. And, yeah, Septa can eat as well. I think we're good for next day. Oh, no, that we can actually upgrade a couple of things. Yeah, we can actually build some of these things I've been wanting to build for a while. You sound pretty... Like you've... You... Like, you landed oddly there. There was a very loud sound like you land on the flat of your feet from that height. That's, that height is... You should roll. One component. Wow. Dick move game. Dick move. Okay. That would allow us to make bullets. But fine. Okay. We're upgrading this so we can actually make medicine. Uh, yes. However, I'd prefer to be able to make the bullets. I'm going to hold out. What we need to build the bullet thing is one component, which is pretty much guaranteed tonight we can get that. What I'm going to do before the night happens, though, is I want to actually uh, stoke the boiler. Well, it's not a boiler, it's, you know, central heating or whatever, but yeah, stoked, end the day. End the day on 90 degrees. So, the question is, where do we go tonight? Could go to the brothel, use the last of our ammo. Yeah. Use the last ammo because otherwise people are going to use it, and I'm going to hate those people. Um, as for who goes on guard, we were raided last night, so I think we can have a double sleep tonight. So that's guard, sleep in bed, sleep in bed, scavenge, prepare. And since we know we're going into combat, 11 bullets. Yeah, bloody hell. I think we take all 11. Right, that's the standard loadout. That crowbar's going to break after one use. I need to build a new crowbar. I don't need the hatchet. Bye-bye, hatchet. Is there something I'm missing here? Crowbar. Shovel. Saw blades. And you need saw blades to be able to go to the brothel, because the brothel has saw-bladed things. 
Damn it. Okay. Um, new plan. We're going to the warehouse. Just hope to God that we don't need the bullets. Um, Empty-handed. Yes. <sighs> okay. I should have brought the hatchet. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Should have brought the hatchet. I got confused about, like, you know, not taking stuff because we're going back here where I was going to take stuff to go to the other place. Two fuel. It doesn't make a full stack. We'll come back when we've got a hatchet for that. Okay, what well, over here? Yeah, I'll take that. And damage military vest. Hmm. These are full stacks, and we're actually at the point where we can make bullets soon, so we'll take that. I will actually take the military vest as well, because we can probably repair that soon as well. It's expensive to repair, but it'll be worth it. If only for trading value. It's worth a lot to trade. Nothing up here? Okay, what about up here? Dun dun dun! Grab what's over in there. We only need one component. We've got that one com I was about to say we've got that one component. No, it was wood I left in here. There is one component lying around somewhere. There we go. One component. Bam. Done. Now bear in mind that during the winter we want components to make uh, water because you have to use a filter. Which is incredibly annoying. But the main problem with the winter is of course that the... Uh, the use of fuel to melt the snow to make it into uh, actual, you know, drinkable water. That's the main issue. Now, why you need to do that rather than just leaving it in a cup inside where our temperature is above zero, I'm, you know, not quite certain on. I guess it makes a good gameplay mechanic. It's maybe not exactly physically correct. What's in here? Only, oh, really? I hadn't actually been through a stack in here. Okay, I obviously haven't done my due diligence when searching. Uh, I don't really want either of those. Weapon components I might want, actually. But we'll go back there in a second. I want to actually look through here. I haven't looked through here in a while. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I want medical ingredients too, but maybe not quite yet. Those are just really tradable, right? Um, apart from weapon... Comp uh, part, sorry, apart from components, we're fine. We just need to fill up that stack. We need two more components. Come on. Two components. Just two. I'm not asking for the world here. Not by any means. That's not a component. That's not a component either. I will even take the stack if it's not full, because we need one to be able to build the uh, the next level of that uh, badass bullet making weaponry thing. Metal workbench, that's what it's called. The next tier of metal workbench requires at least one, so I'm taking even not a full stack, which I hate doing. Nothing here. I really haven't done my due diligence, have I? I've looked through here. I don't think there was any left. No, tobacco. And it's tobacco over one as well. Run to exit. We're done. That's it for components. We have to start looking for components elsewhere, which sucks. Hmm. We need to make saw blades. We need to make probably a new crowbar as well. Can we sell the old crowbar? I wonder if it takes into account the damage to, to it. It probably does. That said, there's no point taking a crowbar which will get you into approximately one door on a map where you want to get through many doors. Please don't be raided. Please don't be raided. Good, okay. Well... I'm not even going to grab the moonshine. Pav, straight to bed. Instead to straight to bed. Also, what's your bio say? My parents are right, just a piece of fears. I moved the classes to more sheltered rooms, and that saved the children when the army landed a shell right in front of the school. The window panes shattered, but the hail of glass shards fell on empty benches and seats. We covered the windows after that. Okay. That's, you know, pretty horrific. Par for the course. Um... Zather, what have we got to do with you? Nothing, really. Uh, the the raw animal traps, or whatever they're called, the small animal traps, are still waiting. Been waiting for a couple of days. I don't mind too much, but... Uh, I need to make a blender. Okay. So, Anton, make the blender. Anton, Anton, Anton. Oh, I can actually do that, but I'm not gonna. 
I don't have enough uh, electrical minutes to do both. Which is a shame, but meh. Now, I think the way it works is something like when you're defending the house, you use bullets and then it tests your defenses. Which is, you know, annoying because it means that defenses won't actually stop our use of bullets. And we're using ammunition at such a ridiculous rate. Do I need to stoke the boiler? Probably do. I think I missed the boiler. Uh, yep, upgrade please. We're going to be out of uh, electrical components. We're down to two now. It's not enough to really do anything. We need uh, at least four, preferably, you know, eight. Or preferably more than that even, but it's not really within our uh, control. What's our fuel situation like? Do we actually have any fuel? I don't think we have any fuel. I can't see any. Okay. And we got blinked at. It wasn't like a cheeky wink. It was just the old good old-fashioned blink. The scary, scary good old-fashioned blink. Okay, what have we got? We can make bullets. Which use components. God damn it. Can't make a crowbar because that takes ten components. Saw blades take two. Great. I'm making a bullet. Just because I just I want to. I need more. Oh well, well let's put the filter in. We definitely need to keep going with the filters as soon as we can. Filter, filter, filter. I might make more moonshine. I'm tempted. The longer we hold out before getting to that, you know, zero degree margin where, you know, suddenly the rainwater becomes, you're know, pointless. Uh, it becomes, you know, this thing we can't do anything with because it just freezes over the better. So I'm actually going to grab the moonshine and I'm probably going to put at least one in. I think we should probably sneak two under the wire because we're actually getting a bit iffy for resources. We don't only really feel, okay, yeah. Um, that will do the fuel. Nothing like a good sleep. That's true. There is nothing like a good sleep. However, you were sleeping on a pallet. I'm not exactly sure if your definition of good sleep is quite the same as mine. No, we won't make ten. We can always take a hatchet. We'll make six for now. Anton, when you're ready, we'll make two moonshine. Go ahead. Uh, we'll wait until two fuel's ready. Two fuel is done. Okay. Moonshine. Make me two. That's using up a lot of water, though. Do it anyway, but bloody hell, that is uh, uncomfortable, to say the least. Mainly because I haven't been at this low water for a while, and I know that with uh, winter closing in, we're definitely getting pushed. Uh, is there anything we want to do? We want to stoke the boiler once. No? What do we want to do? Hmm. Nothing? Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing we want to do in the day. Okay, so, still no sign of actual snow yet. I can't go to the brothel without a saw blade. I need a component to make that. I think we have to go somewhere new. We can't really go to the brothel without the ability to take those guys on. Small apartment, um, that's people trading and stuff. City hospital... It's, it really depends. Like, there can be some parts that you just can't really, uh... You can't really steal stuff from because it's stealing and we're not allowed to steal. And I don't know if some... I think we've raided most of the parts that are off-limit... Not off-limits, and the off-limit parts we can't really go to because we're paragony. Um... Hotel? They have someone willing to barter there. I might go to the hotel. I have to semi-armor up for it, just in case. Banning cutter journeys, weapons, quiet house. People are trying to lead normal lives. They've got nothing to look for there. So still, I'm not going to go there and steal off them. I think we have to go to the hospital. Uh, sorry, the hotel. Shield school, what have you got? Some food, lots of meds. Again, not really. I think we've got rid of most of the stuff there. Most of the stuff that's left is probably within the control of the uh, the homeless people there. Are they still people there? Yeah, there's still people there. Okay. The other choice is St. Merit. No, it's off limits because of the fighting. Yeah. Okay, hotel it is. Hotel's a weird one. Okay, hotel is one of these odd situations where there might be enemies there. 
Two people on guard. And what I'm thinking is we go in... Crowbar. What will we trade? We can trade the Moonshine. We'll take Moonshine to trade. It doesn't stack in our inventory, which is annoying. We'll take a shotgun. We'll take ten bullets. Actually, no, we'll take less. We'll take... Eight. Take the flak vest just in case. No, I won't take the flak vest. I'm hoping that the guys who are evil will stay up top or whatever. If they're evil, I don't even know. No, we'll do it. We'll, we'll double check. We'll do the entire sweep around. We'll do an entire clean sweep. We'll be good. And... Do we take a shovel? I can't remember if this place needs a shovel. I'm going to lay off the shovel. We're already really pushing it for what we can carry in our inventory at the moment. Hmm. So what we're looking for tonight is... Water. Parts, electric components, and component components. But until next time, I've been Enter Elysium. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good deal out of this. If you like the episode, please like it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We still haven't got to winter! We've been waiting for ages and winter just hasn't happened. It's constantly on the edge. Well, it could be winter. It could be a mild winter, but you get the point. We're constantly on the edge. It hasn't quite frozen yet. We're expecting it to, but still hasn't. But until next time... Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Have a look at it. Like if you haven't uh, subscribed, then consider subscribing. And stay shiny.